welcome back this video was a requested video and a very good idea it's a what i eat in a day video i'll be taking you along my day and showing you what i eat in it um i'll show you how i prepare things how i eat them specifically like don't at me, okay? Some of these things, it's like, you know, ew, why would you pair that with that? But like, it works for me. It tastes good. I like it. That's what matters. I'll be showing you my portioning and how much of each thing that I eat. So if you're ready to see the things that I would eat in a day, then keep on watching. So multivitamins are super important to have so that you're able to have all the nutrients that you're supposed to have in the day. And it also replenishes anything that you might miss from your meals. I start my day out with some eggs and I eat three eggs. I always prefer hard boiled eggs over scrambled eggs or omelets for some reason, don't know why. So I cut them up into pieces and then I also put seasoning on it as well. I just put some lemon pepper. So I also cut myself a piece of avocado to put on top of the eggs. And then I just sprinkle like a small dash, just a little bit more of seasoning on top of it. Every morning I have tea. I drink vanilla chai tea. Um, I don't drink coffee because it's a bit too strong for me. It gives me like unnecessary jitters. Then I add some almond milk to it as well, vanilla almond milk, and a lactose-free creamer specifically because if it has lactose in it, I will blow up and it's not fun. So for when I want a thick, heavy breakfast, I'll also heat up some oatmeal um, I'll either make it from scratch or if I have some left over, I'll just put it in a pot and thin it out with some almond milk and stir, stir, stir. And I prefer it to have a consistency that's a bit on the thinner side because I like to add cream crackers to it. So alternative breakfast option would be um, veggie sausage patties and avocado. So for my lunch for work, I prepare it the night before. I cook broccoli and tofu and I toss that together. So I cut them into bite-sized squares and then I just squeeze the water out of them in this really ratchet way. I put down the cutting board and then I put down a weight and then that squeezes out the water pretty good. So I try to make sure they're bite-sized pieces because for some reason it tastes better when it's bite-sized. I have no idea if that's like brain trickery, but <laughs> okay. And then I just coat them with cornmeal so that it has crunch to it. And it sticks pretty well. I prefer cornmeal over flour or anything else. Cornmeal seems to stick the best to this. So then I'll also spray it down so I can add a second coat and then shake more onto it and then just toss it. Then I'll also dice up some um, garlic as well. It gives it a much better taste versus if you were to use garlic that's like powdered. There's something about the fresh minced up garlic pieces that will make the flavor come out way better. Mm -hmm. 
I usually use sesame oil, but the second best I use is olive oil. The sesame oil would give it a much better flavor, but olive oil, olive oil is good for you. So I just throw it in there and then I just make sure that they're all flat, so that they're all cooking evenly. And I will periodically flip them as they turn brown. So I just add the minced garlic and then I'll be adding the honey and then I'll be adding two tablespoons of soy sauce specifically because as you know it's pretty salty but I'm using the low sodium and then the broccoli and here's how it comes out. Mm, yum. So after work I just quickly just wash my face because Florida is sticky hot. And then I just go and get my pre-workout snack, which is just toast with avocado on top of it. And then I'll top it off with some pink Himalayan salt. After a workout, I'll go ahead and mix some protein powder, some almond milk, and I'll just shake, shake, shake it up in my sports bottle. So for dinner, I eat a black bean burger, and it's one of those freezer ones that I got from Aldi, so that's like super easy and quick to prepare. For an after dinner snack, I chop up some lettuce. I usually do this like days ahead, and I have myself a big ol' Caesar salad. And it's pretty simple. It's just the lettuce and then I put some spinach and then I add some croutons and the dressing. So if you'd like another video like this, definitely give me a thumbs up. It will let me know that I should go ahead and make that video. Also, do not forget to subscribe for more content like this. All the inverted triangle diet things and anything related to inverted triangle will be here on this channel. So definitely give me a subscribe for that. Until next time, see ya. Bye.